We've had over 500 vehicle tests on this channel, and almost all of them have headlight tests. So if you want to see how the lights on your vehicle work, this is the right place to be. Well, after a long wait, I finally got myself an M340i BMW. I'm kind of curious to see how these headlights perform in the dark. So we'll take it out and do a night drive. We also did a full one-week road test on this for you. We'll have a link for that at the end of this video, so don't go away. All right, it's dark enough. Let's check out these lights. Look pretty bright from here. I see we have some lights in the door handle. That's handy. Pretty bright from the rear. And the emergency lights are pretty bright as well. And has some pretty powerful bulbs in this one as well. I'm not supposed to call them bulbs, they're filaments, I'm told. Eh, whatever. And the flashers on the mirror. Don't break the mirror, they're very expensive to replace. Now we turn off the headlights. Wow, these are pretty bright now. Absolutely. Lighting up the whole parking lot. Same here. And the cabin lights do a fantastic job of illuminating the interior. And there's a large info screen. It's a good thing because most of the climate controls are embedded in the info screen system. Something I don't like, but we're stuck with. Here's our camera system. Rear view on the left. Bird's eye view on the right. And a view from the front. <laughs> That's a nice trick. Instead of round instruments, we get something that looks like a thermometer on each side, but that does seem to be the trend nowadays. And all of the vital controls are illuminated quite well. Well, right now I have it on low. Let's pop it up on high. There. That's better. If you watch my videos, you know I do not like auto dimming mirrors in city traffic. Driving blacked out glass is not safe in my opinion. That's why I like a disconnect switch and I've not been able to find one in this car yet. So to turn the mirror off, I put a piece of white paper over the sensor hole. Tape usually works better, but this paper is all I had at the moment. All right, let's look at the headlights. That's what we're here for. Very bright. Not very high though. Good widespread. Well, that's what the high beams are for. So let's do the eye. Ah, now we got some power here. Now for some long distance. Lights up the building pretty good. By the way, it's been raining tonight. And all that moisture in the air kind of interferes with the headlight beams. But it's been raining every night. There's nothing I can do about that. Let's do some more long distance. There we go. So let's take these lights on some tight mountain roads and see what happens. There's a lot of wildlife out here, especially tonight. Deer, bears. You don't want to hit one of those, but there's also small stuff like skunks. I don't know, I think I'd rather hit a bear. And what have we here? Looks like dinner. Yeah, let's hit that doing 50 miles an hour. All right, right now we have the low beams on. As you can see, a bit too much cut off for my taste. Really can't see what's up ahead. So, turn the brights on and that solves the problem. I was hoping these would be active headlights that swivel in the same direction as the steering wheel. 
which makes taking corners a lot easier, but that's okay. These are more than adequate. I'm not complaining. All right, let's do some long distance. Got the low beams on. And the high beams reaching out. That's about almost a mile. That was a nice mountain drive. Let's end this by doing some dark, dingy street driving. High beams. Lighting up the whole neighborhood. Good white spread. Low beam. Bit of a cut off. And let's do some long distance stuff. There we go. The high beams are certainly 100% first class, no doubt about that. This is the Big Dipper. As you see, you take a dip and you lose some of your light, even on low beam, but go to high beam, solves that problem. Although the low beams on this aren't really that bad. All right, here's the ultimate test. Can we see the jail sign with the low beams? No, but with the high beam, there you go. This one passed far better than any of the other vehicles I've had this year. Another point. Let's get on the freeway and light up some road signs, shall we? Oh, this baby's got a lot of power. Okay, high beam, low beam, reaching out, looks like we have some signs to light up here, yeah, lighting up the whole countryside. out. Yeah, I got some more stuff to light up. Ooh. Yeah. There you go. Well, that was a nice night drive. Time to wrap up this video. Go back into town. Too many deadly creatures out here tonight. Vampire bats, snakes. And these lights are really potent. They're drowning out my camera. I can't even see the car. There we go. That's a slight improvement. And that concludes our night drive and headlight test. If you don't see the full road test, here's the link. If you came this far, you might as well watch both videos.